always be number two. And I can't wait to retain this briefcase and prove to each and every one of you smarks that I am better. It's big and his ego's big. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you another old school matchup. There's a lot of matches that have been deleted off the BW YouTube channel that all of you guys have not seen that we are going to keep uploading every Thursday. But today we're, we're feeling special to upload one on Tuesday. But here we go as, as we go back, Bad Reed, Chris Copeland, Bad Reed, scooping Copeland, going after him. This was a heated rivalry back in 2014 or 13, sorry, excuse me. And putting him in a Boston Crab right there. Battery body does not bend that well. But Copeland asks him, do you quit? You want to quit? Battery says no. Battery pulls the legs on top of him for a roll of himself. And One. Copeland kicks One. out. Two. Battery scooping the legs again. Battery and Copeland do not like each other. Strikes to the head. Copeland kicking Reed off. And a wham kick right to the head of the battery. Chris Copeland with the wham kick right to the head of the battery. And a kick out. One, two. Copeland has Reed in a surfboard stretch. Uh, yeah, submission maneuver right now. Reed trying to get out. Reed laughing. Twisting out. And a drop kick by the battery. This was the time, ladies and gentlemen, back when Bad Reed was making his his spotlight to the top before Bad Reed had gotten all the way to the top before he had won the BW championship. And Chris Copeland, both men were on their rise to glory in backyard wrestling. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Cyber this was Sli Cyber Splash 2. Sorry about that. And a huge clothesline right there by Copeland. But this was Cyber Splash 2. And Cyber Splash 4 is this Sunday, everyone. But also, stay tuned this Thursday for another old school. As you will see, a fatal four-way for the TV championship. And we're putting a fatal four-way in the old school matchup card. Because we want to show you how two. significant the TV championship was. Because it's being brought back this Sunday at Cyber Splash, ladies and gentlemen. And Battery scooping the legs. Going for him, striking him. The Battery doesn't want to hit any moves. He just wants to go after him. And if I haven't introduced myself already, ladies and gentlemen, it is yours truly, the one, the only, Bob Anderson. Battery picking up Copeland right now. Copeland's meaty head. Copeland catches him. Fireman carry. Fireman carry. Cut buster. Goodness gracious. Going for the cover. Cover. And a kick out by Reed. Picking up Reed right now. What's Copeland going for? Strikes, no misses. Bad Reed, backstabber. Oh, I know that's got to hurt. Reed with a huge backstabber. Going for Reed's picking him up. Code breaker. Code breaker. Those knees right to the face of Copeland. And Reed's trying to get Copeland. I don't know what he's doing. Talking trash. These guys hate each other. They hated each other during the time. But ladies and gentlemen, Path to Glory is June the fourth, the seventh. Sorry, and Battery Running Helo, huge Running Helo, one of the first Running Helo the Bad Reed hit. But now look at him today, hitting him, landing him, and all. Both men have improved significantly since this time. And Battery does does not like Copeland with talking trash and then punching him. Talking trash and then punching him. Goodness gracious. Oh, and a punch to the gut by Copeland. Copeland, what's Copeland going for? Famouser lands all on the Bad Reed's back. Famouser by Chris Copeland.
goodness gracious, this is to get you a little more familiar with Chris Copeland as you see him in action last resort and you've seen him on the other old school episode against Jack Andrews. Speaking of Jack Andrews, Path to Glory is in three, three months if I'm counting correctly. And Jack Andrews picks whoever he wants to face One, in the main event two. of Path to Glory for whichever title he chooses. Chris Copeland got him in a gut rich, gut rich suplex and just slams the bad read on that mattress. Not caring, no cares in the world right now. Oh, and a low blow by Reed. Giving Copeland a taste of his own medicine and punching him in the back of the head. More punches. Battery setting up for something. What's he going for? That huge insiguri to the top of the, the tippy top of the back of the head of Copeland. Both men are down and sore right now. Reed's pretty upset. Holding his neck. Reed's got Copeland's head. What's he doing right now? Oh, man. Rubbing his head right off the steel metal of the trampoline. Kicks him in the back of the leg. Reed picking him up. Pinning him back in the ring. Getting in. Setting up for something, maybe. He's got him up. What's he going for? Huge back suplex by Bad Reed. Oh, and a huge spinning dragon heel kick. A dragon leg. Sorry, dragon leg sweep by Copeland and a fisherman. Pitcher perfect fisherman suplex for the kick out by Bad Reed. Copeland doing. Picking him up. Oh my god! Battery lands on his neck. Goodness gracious. Holy cow. And a One, kick out by two, Reed. Goodness two. gracious. Chris Copeland is in complete utter shock. The battery landed right on his neck. Goodness. Wow. Can we get a replay of that or something? Land right on his neck. Copeland trying to go for the CKO and get pushed out on a on the table. Goodness gracious. He gets pushed out on a table. Copeland screaming like a baby. Like a little girl. <laughs> Bad <laughs> Going after Copeland. Goodness gracious, not giving him a break or nothing. Punching him, not caring. Punching him in the arm. And everything. These guys do not like each other. Goodness. Barry said he says he's done. Is he going for that finisher? The curb stomp. Is he going for it? Copeland's in complete hurt. Copeland says no, no. No, no. He doesn't want to take any more of this pain. Reed punching him more and more in the back of the head. Giving more torture to Copeland. What's Reed going for? And a knee right to the rib cage of Copeland. What's he going for? And a huge spinning elbow. Bad Reed setting up for something. Huge back body drop to Copeland. Bad Reed is hot right now. Going for that patented headlock driver to Chris Copeland. Cover. And a kick out by Copeland. Both men kicking out. Bad Reed going for it again. Pushed off. Oh, and a zigzag by Chris Copeland. Chris Copeland's finisher during the time. Going for the cover. And One, a kick out by Reed. Two, Both men th kicking out to each other's patent two. signature maneuvers. Copeland can't believe this. He doesn't know what to do. What's he going for now? And a drop kick to the knee. What's Bad Reed going for? Is he going for that patented finisher? The curve stomp! Curve stomp! It's all over! It's all over! Reed with the victory! And a kick One, out by Chris two. Copeland! Bad Reed cannot believe it! Bad Reed going for something! Got him! No! Copeland rolls out! One, and Chris Copeland two, beats three. the Bad Reed! I'm in complete, utter shock and disbelief! This is nasty. This is ugly. Terrible situation. Do you believe me now? Bad Reed's pretty upset. But just to spoil everything about this event, Chris Copeland would go on later that night to cash in and win the BW Championship for the first time. 
Oh no, what's he doing? Oh, in the back with the briefcase. Chris Copeland in the back with the briefcase. Goodness. Chris Copeland, what's he going for? That patented CKO. That patented CKO. Reads out. Reads out. The back of Bad Reed's head hit that board. Goodness. Those Reed under the mattress just making a complete mockery of Reed. Throwing everything on him. Stomping on it. Goodness. <clears throat> and the head with the briefcase. Battery bleeding. Goodness gracious. This match was ugly. This match was really ugly. These guys hated each other during the time and Chris Copeland still beating Reed. You're still conscious. You're still conscious. Answer me. Do you want a rematch? <laughs> Wow, man. This, he beat the crap out of Reed in this match. Throws the briefcase on him again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's take you to the highlights of this match. Tune in this Thursday for another old school and tune in this Sunday for Cyber Splash. Bad Reed versus Suicide Bomber for the BEW Championship and AI Owens versus Black Crow for the Television Champion. Quite a match card stacked up for you. Listen here, Cage. You see, you think you got the fans behind you. You think you're the big guy. You think you're big and tough, right? You're going to uh, beat some respect out of me, right? I can't wait until this Sunday so I can get my hands around your throat and just rip your neck from your head. Because when I hit you with this, you might not be breathing anymore because I'm going to put you six feet under. And oh, to your little marks, your little friends, your little fans, keep bringing the hate, baby. Keep on bringing the hate because I'm going to keep on embracing it because there's nothing you can do when I knock Cage down. And then you're going to have no one else to rely on. You're going to be looking around, oh my gosh, who's going to be the hero? Who do we rely on? Come on, Barry. Please, Barry. Please, Barry. Please, Barry. And I'm just going to sit here and tell all of you, I told you I was going to do it. Suck my kiss my ass. That's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say bend over, I'm gonna pull my ass out, and I'm gonna say kiss my ass. Because I am better than everybody on YouTube. I am the best backyard wrestler. <clears throat> Everyone says they're the best backyard wrestler, but I prove it each and every time I step into that ring. And this Sunday you will see why I'm better than Cage, why I'm better than the best, why I'm better than Mr. Better Than You, and I'm better than the Assassin, I'm better than Bama Kid, I'm better than Jason Walker, I'm better than any man you can throw at me because I am. So this Sunday at risk it all, you bringing up your champions. Oh, everyone from KBW will be defending our title, right? You got BW's new member power line going one-on-one -on -one with Bama Kid for the Hardcore Championship. You got Hazard defending his Native, Native American world title against the Black Crow from BW, former two-time television champion. And then you got your three-time BW world champion going one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Better Than You and all his marks. Cage. I'm gonna walk out the winner and there's no stopping me because the whole world will be on my shoulders. You'll be all be in my hands. Look here. BW, I've been here for about two years almost. I'm the man that helped start up BW. I'm the man that helped get BW where it is today. And tonight is the biggest match of my backyard wrestling career. And I'm not going to let this slip through my fingers. Because every time the eyes are stacked against me, I always come out on top. For instance, 10 other men. Season 2 was a rumble. I came out on top. Came out number one and defeated all other members of that match. You see? And then Path to Glory 2, I faced Chris Copeland. 
and I beat him and became the BEW champion. Path to Glory 3, fast forward. Suicide Bomber. I had the television champion at the BW champion. I came out on top, and I'm the BW Undisputed Champion now. Now let's fast forward to now. I'm going one-on-one -on -one with one of the biggest superstars in backyard wrestling. And today, this, is, this isn't about having fun wrestling and competing. This is about me winning, making a name for myself, and to show everyone that I think I'm better than Cajun, to prove that I can outshine him and that I'm better than him. You may expire, you may inspire me, but I'm better than you. See, tonight is the night. Tonight is the make or break moment for a career. But no, not my career, for the Bad Reed's career. Because this is his chance, this is his opportunity to shock the world, to do the impossible, to do the unthinkable, to take on Cage and win. Or, there's another outcome to this scenario. I go out there and do what I do best. I'll perform everybody and outshine him. And in the process, I'll knock some respect back into him. I had a lot of respect for him and I hope after this match, he'll get my respect back. But he's got to earn it. He's got to go out there and earn it. And even if he loses, all I want him to do is earn it. Because I'm going to knock it into him if he does it. Tonight is one of the biggest matches in backyard wrestling history. And tonight, I defeat the Bad Reed. I hope you're ready. Hello world. Goodbye, Bad Reed. We are back with our main event match. And this is Bob Anderson speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait. I know, me, the Mike, the Dr. Gilman here. I mean, we're tied up one to one. BW has won. And... KBW has won, and now it's time for champion versus champion. Both titles on the line. Here comes the KBW World Heavyweight Champion now, representing us and everything we believe in. He is Kane. The leader of execution, the master of the DDT. Best in the world. The guys, the top dog, the one who is in control, the one who my Reed would like to say, oh I'm sorry, the bad Reed, would like to say is the best and he wants a spot, so now's his chance. Mr. Better and the best. Real regional music right here. A lot of people have been anticipating this match. Two of the biggest names in backyard wrestling today, and they go into the ring with this face-off. Last man standing, baby. Last man standing. Get ready. This is a last man standing match. There's nowhere to run this time, son. Boy. I had a little altercation earlier this week. All right, let's get this started. And now here we go. It's happening. This is real right now. You're witnessing the oh, bad no. read versus Cage. And then ah, went to a hammer lock. Ah, come on. Ah, ah. Not better than you. Ah, yes, I am. He says he is, and now he reverses into a ah. hammer lock of his own. But now, oh. bad elbows. read coming back from elbows. Snap there. Kick to ah. the back. Baseball kick to the back. And then such disrespect with a slap. Wow, I'm lost for words right, right now. It's so shocking that I'm still so overwhelmed in the guys this match. And another lock up, these guys are starting out technical. Barry's showing his he's on the tech of screen, but he's oh. coming down. But yeah, blocking the clothes on and a drop kick. Pitcher perfect drop kick by the battery. And Cage is stunned. Cage, I do Martin not Martin. think he was going to come out here with a start yeah. like this. Cage needs to get it in his head. He got to, he got to, he got to. He underestimated the battery here. Another walk up. 
A good lock up here now. Guys. Trying to fill each other out, trying to get. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Come on, go. Squaring off. Trying to get a feel of each other out. What a clothesline. <laughs> Turning Cage inside out. Wow. Clothesline by the daddy. Cage has got to get it together. This is his chance, this opportunity to knock some respect in the battery like he's been clamoring about for a week now. He wants to do this. This is his opportunity. And Bad Reed is just getting the best of him right here. Cage has got to regroup. Get this Bad together. You're nothing. You're nothing. Let's go. And Myron, Let's go. And Bad Reed is clearly aware of that. Oh, it goes up under now. Okay, this is the cage that we know and love in KBW right here. Back on top. Finally got this upper hand. Spinning around. And look at him. Toying with Battery now. And a what a baseball kick to the forehead. Battery getting out of there quickly. Can we see some flying, soaring it? Wait, no, 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 no. Idiot, dude. No. <laughs> Whoa, this. It grabs him and throws him back in the ring mid trash talk. Oh, oh but. And the battery is smart. Just stomping the crap out of the cage, picking him up. Taking advantage of that. Elbow to the back of the neck. Good lord. In that hair area. Follows up with another elbow to the back of the neck. Yeah, you see his knuckle going down on that shot? That was a hard shot to the face. A hard right hand. Let me surprise if they did not on the set after this match. He's going for a huge back body drop. And still showboating. That's, 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 that's a lot of his game is to move and showboat. Do a move and showboat. Count it. Where he should be focused on other things. And let's start to count one. Two, three, four, four, but no, as soon as he see, as soon as he seen Cage hit that second foot up, he was right back on him. Oh, when a disc is for forearm. Get the joke out of here, come on now. A kick to the back of the head. Capoeira type kick there too. Count it again, one, two, three, four, five. And he's up at six right here. Oh, Madden was going Tommy for something. Drop. But it was an atomic drop. Spinning <laughs> neck breaker. The bad reads neck gotta be jarred. Trying to right get now. some control back. Scoop slam <laughs> by the bad read. He stays right on him. He, he stays right on him. It looks like the bad reads has been preparing for this match his whole life. Knee pad skinning the hell out of his head, forehead. And then the knee to the jaw. Rob that knee. Got it. Straight to the face. One. Two. Come on now. Three. Gorgeous. Four. You gotta respect me. Five. Come on. Come on. Six. Seven. Cage is just not giving up. He's gonna give up. And the battery's throwing him down like a rag dog. It's just ridiculous. Him up in a fireman carry. What's he going for here? Basically a GTS on the trampoline metal. That's way harder than any. Did you see? Can do. Did you see the way he bounced off of that? The battery. What's he going for? A solid steal. Wait a minute. No. Cross flick. Soaring and scoring. You're not allowed to say that. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, what does he have in mind? Oh, oh a drop to oh, he he timed it. It was perfect. He hit now. Whose face hit the steel? Now, Cage does know his ring awareness. And wait, no, he lands on his feet. He a Gary. Good lord, and it's a Gary right to the top of the head. Jesus Christ! Laying the KGW World Champion on his neck. I'm flabbergasted of how prepared. The bad read has been for this matchup. I mean, he's called Cage out. He knew that he was getting into this situation a long time ago. The bad read will walk Trying out. Trying to stay on him. Oh, oh, there's some elbows in this. Oh, no. On the hard ground, no. The suplex. On the hard ground. He's trying for it again. Cage, what's he going for? Huge exploder suplex right into the house. That is concrete behind that. Did you see him drop on his neck? Let's start the count here. One, two, three. three. Four. Oh, he's up. 
Barely using the house to stay. I don't even know how he's on his feet. Did you see his neck? Did you see his neck laying on the ground? Oh, it's ugly, though. Oh, oh kick to the gut there. A back kick. What's Kate going for? Soaring and scoring with the moon salt. Huge moon salt. The cage we know and love. That's an alright moon salt. All right. The bad read, I don't think we'll ever be able to deliver one like that. We'll see about that. But again, he's like back to his feet. I don't know how he did that. We didn't even have time to count. Driving one for kick. Grab another one. Grabbing them. Power bomb. Sit out power bomb in the middle of the And now both being down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, they both try to get to a vertical base. Seven. Eight. Nine. So, oh no, they both reached the base. Are we going for two kick misses? Cage thrust <laughs> kick. Oh, Cage okay, filling it now. Calf kick. Cage is filling it now. He usually follows us up. Come on, the up. Here he comes. Little Barry trying to fight out. He hits it. Cage is staying on him now. Stay on him. Do it for your fans. Do it for KBW. Do it. If the word respect it means it. anything. Stomping on him right now. And a leg drop. Okay, and this is vintage Cage right now. Leg drops, ladies and gentlemen. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. He does not stop. Nine. This takes a lot out of both men, though. Going for this tenth one. Could he hit it? Huge no. Bad reach jumps oh, up. Jerry to the. Oh my God! A temple. What Jesus. a kick! What a kick to the head! I don't know how he had the awareness to do that. One, two, three, four. I don't know. Five. This match is just amazing right now. Six. I'm speechless. Lady. Seven. Both men kick up. What the heck? They both kicked up at the same going? time. Where's he going? Form. What a stiff form. Another Ooh. stiff form by They're Cage. coming back. They're trading some. By the bad they're trading some stiff huge ones. form back right now. Forth. Back and forth. Going for the hybrid. <laughs> the hybrid strikes. Go for another one. Wait, What's no. Inverted. Oh. Atomic drop. The combo. Ooh. The neck breaker. By the one, the only, Mr. Better Than You. We've Cage. seen it in the past. He just connected. Neck. I don't know uh, how he did it. He was taking some huge hybrid shots. One. To the face. Two. Who is going to win this? Three. They're, they're putting it all out there. Four. Five. Six. Cage is up now. Seven. Stay down. But tell him to stay down. He's okay, calling for the mood salt. Oh my god! He just what super kicked him in midair! Cage is out of it, you don't know where he is, Better he's out on his feet! Going for? The beauty shot! Oh my god! Right on the knee, that suplex knee neck breaker, good lord! He drops Cage Head right on his knee! On his knee, goodness! One! I said the beauty shot, sorry about that ladies and gentlemen, he calls it the perfect shot! Two! Three, I thought it was a sexy shot. Four. It was pretty sexy. Five. Six. Battery. Seven. <laughs> they're both struggling to get up. Getting out of the ring. Eight. No, they're both up. I don't Cage know how they're... Something. It's the carry to the forehead. <sighs> Goodness, did you see the his foot connect? But he's back That's up. Stolen <laughs> elbow to the forehead of Cage. Again. That was a massive form. Cage should be out of it. One. Two, three, four, five, cage. I think this is over, ladies and gentlemen. Six. Battery may as well be the first backyard wrestling undisputed. Seven. No cages. What the hell? Why is he up? Cage bouncing with that boost of energy. Jumping TDT. Did you see the way his neck landed on the trampoline? Good lord. Oh my god. Down again. I don't know how they're find, finding a way to do this. One. 
Two, what a match, ladies and gentlemen. Three, four, five. again. What the heck is wrong with these guys? They won't stop until six, somebody is unconscious. Good lord. Seven. That read cage. Both eight, men getting up. Cage. We're going for a kick. Ooh, no kick one is. Gets the, gut. the kick himself. Sliced bread. Hit yes. It. Beautiful. This could be it. He could be down and done for. This could be over one. Two. Three. Both men laid out from this exhausting four. match. The beating that both of these guys Five. took in the day is just gruesome. Six. Seven. Battery's getting up. Eight. Signals for so, lights out. It's not, okay. Nine. Looking at a new... They're both Angel up Aaron. again! What's he going for? Another super kick misses! Got some up, what's he going for? He's got him in the torture rack position! Torture oh rack DDT! God. Perfect DDT, it was just This beautiful. definitely could be a get up cage! Get up! One! Two! Exploder suplexes! Three! Insiguris! Four! Finishing move. I don't think the battery will be able to Five. get Five. Outside dives. Who the hell? Six. AK. AK-47. Headshot to the battery. What is he doing he here? Doing? KBW. KBW. What did oh, they get in here? Does it look like I'm a sorry ass monster, huh? Does it look like I'm a sorry ass monster? Sore no. loser. What you looking at? Oh, <laughs> he just headshot a cage. What the hell is this? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BEW Tuesday Night Lost, episode 1 of season 5. Tonight is going to be a very memorable night as we have many things to come tonight. But I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be very amazing. Because tonight we see PCW and BEW go at it. Because now PCW is with BEW for a whole season of 5. And the bad readers out here right now are going to start off the show. They'll be saying welcome to Tuesday Night Lost. The evolution of BEW is right now. The evolution of BEW is here. And I need, I need to say that this is going to be a very memorable night. Let's see what bad readers got to say. Nicholas Cole, right now, out. Where to begin, where to begin. I mean, I've tracked and crawled, worked my hardest for two long years to BEW. Everything I did was for BEW. Everything I did was for the fans. Everything I did was for me. Everything that I did was because I love to wrestle. Each and every time I step out of this ring, it's because I love to wrestle. It's a passion, it's an addiction. And this, this will be the death of me. This right here is going to basically shoot my backyard wrestling career in its freaking heart. Because, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, as of season six, five, sorry, season five, episode one, the bad read will be retiring from backyard wrestling. This is no game. This is no joke. This is not entertainment. I messed my arm up and I cannot wrestle. I I don't want to go into detail if you were, if you really have to know it's in the lacerated tendon that I can't move my fingers correctly. And if I do, I may just put in jeopardy my actual in fact, pro wrestling career. So, this is for bye. This is goodbye for now. But as you've seen, I do not have my BW championship with me as right now. And that's the reason I need to come out here and explain this to you. I have been, I have forfeit my BW championship and I am no longer the BW champion. After holding it for 200 plus days, defending it against people like Cage, Suicide Bomber, Lights Out E, I brought True Prestige to that championship. And speaking of True Prestige, 
I will not let BW go down in the poop, the crapper. Because there will be a tournament starting tonight <clears throat> for my BW championship, and I will be their last resort to present the new BW champion with the title because I want to know. I want to look in the eye of the man that's the new BW champion and tell him that he's gonna have to carry this company on his back. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So before I go, I would like to say thank you to everyone who ever supported me in my backyard wrestling career and meant the utmost to me. And I respect each and every person that had the guts to criticize me, to show some constructive criticism to me because each and every one of you, you made me better. You made me feel like I was the best at what I do. I love each and every one of y'all. I do. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, the call, man. The Bad Rude is done with back in wrestling. The Bad Rude has vacated the BEW Championship, and now we're going to see a tournament to crown a new BEW Champion. Uh, the Bad Rude must feel very emotional right now. Oh, man. Uh, also, BEW are going to miss the Bad Rude, and even you people in the back in wrestling community, I bet are going to miss you, too. Oh, man. And, uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, What's up, BW World? It's your BW champion, the Bad Raid, and I'm here with some um, unfortunate news. Um, as you've seen, BW hasn't really been um, posting as much as we usually do the past couple of months. Um, you know, after two years later, uh, everything seemed to go downhill with um, competitors wanting to show up at events. We're losing wrestlers daily, but. Um, out of all the wrestlers in BEW, I think there's only a select few that really care about you and really care about wrestling. So with that being said, we won BEW is ending. And um we don't want to go out just by saying we're ending. No. We wanna we wanna have one last final special event for all of you guys because you guys deserve it. The show will be called The End because it's the end of BEW. So me and BEW management got together and we put together three solid matches that we think that you guys would be interested in seeing. Um... We want you guys to, you know, take this and I want you to think about this because BW's been together for two years. It's really hard. It's really hard getting on camera and saying this to each and every one of you because I've been here since day one, since BW was nothing. I've been here from when BW was nothing to now when it actually means something. And through all of the all the road bumps, thick and thin, everyone has supported us whether they liked me or not. Because I'm going to tell you, this has been the biggest roller coaster of my, my life. Um, I've, I've made friends. I've made enemies. But one common thing I share with all of them is I respect each and every person that does this. Each and every person that goes out there, puts a camera up, records it, and puts it on YouTube, and wrestles their butt off each and every week or whether it's monthly for you, I respect you. And I respect everyone that does what I do because I love what I do. This is no hobby. This is a lifestyle for me. And surely, yes, the road doesn't end for the bad read, but in backyard wrestling, it does. The bad, the bad read is done with backyard wrestling after this. I plan to go train at OVW of already started um, the beginner's lessons, the beginner's training in OVW 
and I plan to, you know, do something big with with this. And um, but as for VEW, we got one last show for you guys. Um, I'm gonna keep you posted within the next day or so. I'm gonna post another video. And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell each and every one of you the match card. 